and welcome to the Double T Insider. I'm Caitlin Kravick alongside Brett Brown, bringing you the inside access into Texas Tech athletics. In this week's On the Clock segment, we feature Red Raider Volleyball's Jenna Allen. Then later in the show, we speak with Lady Raider Basketball's Oakland native, Raven Brooks. We also take you behind the scenes of every good tech fan's tailgate preparation. This past weekend, Red Raider football played Oklahoma in Jones AT&T Stadium. True freshman quarterback Patrick Mahomes started for your Red Raiders and put the first points on the board with a six-yard pass to junior Jakeem Grant with four minutes left in the first quarter. Heading into the second, OU tied the game with a two-yard rush into the end zone, making the score 7-7 to with nearly five minutes left in the first half. With three minutes to go until halftime, Mahomes completed a 59-yard pass to freshman receiver Ian Sadler for a Texas Tech touchdown, going into halftime with a lead of 14-7 over the Sooners. In the third quarter, Texas Tech scored early with a 47-yard pass to sophomore Devin Lauderdale, upping the lead to 14 points over OU. However, 21-7 was not a strong enough lead to keep the Sooners from coming back. OU scored twice in the third quarter, tying the score 21 to 21 before heading into the fourth. Tech's defense could not stop the Sooners, who put up three more touchdowns on the board in the fourth quarter. The only times Tech would score in the fourth quarter would be a 27-yard field goal by Ryan Buston and a 39-yard pass to Dylan Cantrell. The final score was 42 to 30, Oklahoma. Coming up after the break, we visit with senior linebacker and Hawaii native VJ Fajoko. Double T Insider is brought to you in part by Plains Capital Bank, a proud supporter of Texas Tech football. Ride with the good guys at Plains Capital Bank, Texas Farm Bureau Insurance. Visit redraiderscontest.game to register to win cool fan experiences. And by Texas Ford dealers. Visit your Texas Ford dealer today. Ford is the best in Texas. Welcome back to the Double T Insider. I'm Alexandra Haley. This week we feature Red Raider football senior linebacker VJ Fajoko. I'm VJ Falco. I'm a senior guy play inside linebacker. I grew up uh, on Honolulu, Hawaii. Um, I started playing sports because of my older brothers. Um, I had uh, two older brothers, there's four of us in all. Um, they started playing football in high school and uh, I enjoyed watching them play and saw how much fun they had playing and kind of wanted to be a part of that. Um, saw them go to Division I uh, football programs on, on a scholarship, so I also wanted to pursue that and I guess that's how our family got rolling in football. My connection to, to the university is through Coach Smith and through my brother who uh, played here previously. So our, our family's kind of familiar with the program. You know, I come from a place that's very family oriented and so to come to this program just makes it easier to adapt and I can see that with a lot of the freshmen and underclassmen that uh, what kind of draws them into coming to Tech is that family environment that Coach Cliff and Coach Smith and uh, the rest of the coaches and the staff bring to us. I don't wear black socks. And if I do wear black socks, um, I have white socks underneath. And um, I don't know why. Um, I always do pray, though, before the game. Um, but I'd say those, those things are probably the more superstitious. And just hearing the student section cheer um, gives me goosebumps thinking about it. Um, you know, they're always there. They always show up. They're there an hour, two hours before the game, uh, just getting crazy. And, uh, you know, to hear them yell Raider power and to hear them do their whole thing on third downs is just, uh, I mean, as a player, it's breathtaking to be on the field and witness that firsthand. I think Sam McGuavin has been a great leader for us. Um, very smart guy. Um, knows every position on the defense. Uh, sacrifices a lot as well. Uh, Pete Robinson as well. As an underclassman, becoming a leader. and. Um, stepping his game up this year and, and helping our defense uh, pursue our goals in, in, in sacks and tackle for losses. And so um, those two names kind of stick out to me. I'm a guy that likes to take action. Um, I will talk. Uh, I feel that my talking is limited, but I, I like to get out there and, and show the guys what I'm about. And I believe in, in energy and, and in setting the tone. Mental toughness is a big key. Um, to be far away from home, uh, to focus, have a full-time job in football and school, and to maintain uh, you know, high performance in both of those areas, I think takes a lot of mental toughness and people overlook kind of that aspect. Um, you know, you're gonna get big, fast, strong guys in college, but uh, that mental toughness, is, I think, is what's gonna take guys over the edge. You need to have your priorities in straight in order to be successful at both of those things. To be part of this, this you know, brotherhood, so to say, um, has taken my life uh, into a whole other level, I mean, just meeting the people I've met since I've been here, being around the people that are, you know, that are so family oriented, I think has made me feel at home. 
and has made Lubbock feel like a second home for me. Very rarely you have a program that brings their players to the house every weekend and barbecues and, and watches the games and, and, and things like that. So um, just super tight knit and, and close, closely oriented, I'd say, is that what this coaching staff brings to us in the family aspect. Coming up next, we spotlight Red Raider basketball's Rob Turner. Robert Turner, point guard from Augusta, Georgia. So talk about your childhood a little bit and how you got into playing basketball. Yeah, I've been playing basketball for a long time now. I think about three is when I probably took my first shot and uh, four is when I played my first organized basketball game. So uh, I've really been around basketball for a long time. It's really been my passion all my life. I really haven't seen myself doing anything but playing ball. So yeah, that day you had it. So talk about the transition from playing at a high school level to playing college level, especially in the Big 12. I mean, it's way different, more physical. You have to get your body right, more uh, nutritional things come into play, just an advanced style of basketball. Still the same game, but you know, you just have to uh, use your mind a little bit more. So this is your second year with Tubby. Talk a little bit about um, how he's just changed you guys as players. Just, uh, you have a great relationship with him. He's very personal boy. He, he wants you to be a, a good person as well as a good player, and, and that's a big thing. He, he's just uh, real good with player development. He knows what you need to do. He, he's been there before. He's a winner, and, and he brings that winning attitude to us, makes us very competitive, makes sure that, you know, every day that we, we know that, you know, it could be your last game. Play like it's your last game. That's, his, that's one of his favorite quotes is to let us know to play like it's your, your very last game, you know. Just to, just to go hard each and every day and don't take things for granted. So what were some of the key things that you really worked on getting better at during the off season? Just making better decisions and, and getting and getting the ball to guys so they can make plays for themselves or others in, a, in an easier way. You know, it, it's nothing better than just, just getting the ball in a spot where you can either score, you know, pass it to a teammate that's open. Simple things like screening and things like that. You know, making better decisions, as I said, and, and just trying to help other guys play to their full potential. And what are some of the biggest strengths that this team has this year? Very athletic, you know, very coachable. That's that's probably the biggest thing, being coachable and uh, always eager to learn. That, that's one of the big things for us. You know, we got guys, we got guys with lack of experience, but it doesn't matter because they, I mean, they're coming in and pick up, picking up on things quick. So you know, just just making it a, a fun environment and letting everybody know it's just basketball. And who are some of the biggest leaders on the team this year? Would you say? Uh, probably myself and Taja Gocha, just because, you know, being a senior leader for myself and uh, playing a lot last year. And as far as Taja, he's been here a long time, played a lot last year. You know, that, that that's probably where the leadership is going to come from. And how would you describe your leadership style? Uh, just lean by example, you know, holding guys account accountable. And that, that's probably about it, you know, just coming in every day to work hard and, you know, sharing my energy, positive energy with others. And being a senior player this year, what has this experience meant to you being a student athlete at Texas Tech? I mean, it, it's truly a blessing. I, I've really embraced everything that has uh, come my way. I'm, I'm thankful for the opportunity and uh, just really glad to be here and, and be able to be a part of something special. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break, we cover the Texas Tech tailgating experience. Welcome back to the show. This week, we take an inside look at the Texas Tech tailgating atmosphere. I've been coming for four years so far, and there's nothing quite like tailgate, man. It's just, it's fun. Everyone's real chill. If you don't have any food at your tailgate or something, you can just go to someone next door and they'll get you a burger. You know, it's all just a kind of big community. My favorite part is just socializing with everybody and meeting new people, especially because we're freshman leadership and we're supposed to meet the students and be the students' voice. So we get to see new ideas and also just chill and have some fun with the people. In SGA, we're just trying to reach out and get to know our students and, and uh, see what we can offer for them, how we can get a better campus for our students and uh, for anything around campus. Oh, it's great, especially meeting the alumni, just seeing what they have to say, especially from their past experiences here at Tech. And it's awesome just to meet the students and also see what they have to say. If they have any suggestions for us, that'd be great. Favorite tailgate food? It'd have to be hamburgers. Just a nice little cheeseburger. This is my first yep. tailgate. Uh, it's fun so far. My expectations a little high. My uh, my friend, you know, is from here, so he's kind of been telling me about it, saying they do it pretty big out here. So I expect to see a lot of a lot of people out here. We're gonna get a thousand people out here probably. It's always the best tailgate scene. Today it's with my good friend Clay. He actually owns the tailgate spot here. We we're visiting from Dallas, Texas, and just I graduated 2014 and now I work in Dallas, but it's good to be back. 
great part about tailgating, shoot, you got all your Red Raiders around. It's great to watch your team no matter how good or bad we're doing. Oh, this is about my fourth or fifth one of the season. I come out to every one of them. I live about 30 minutes away, so I'm going to get here when I can. Oh, they got some hamburgers. They got some chicken back there. A whole bunch of brats, I think. It's, they did good this morning. Favorite tailgate <laughs> food? I would have to say uh, jalapeno poppers, bast, and dove meat is really good. I, that's good stuff right there. I, we've been tailgating since I was a sophomore, about three years. Favorite part? Friends, food, talk about football try to win the game, you know, have a great time here at Tech, you know, that's all it's what about. We probably talk about two days before, the meats we want, all the ingredients just get basked. I mean, I had some venison deer meat that I've been marinating Italian dressing for two days. I mean, it's a serious deal. This time we've got some chili going, some ribs, uh, chickens, jalapeno poppers, a little bit of everything. I mean, it's support Tech football and have some good times with friends and family. Uh, this is with Tech League Club, we're a brand new organization just starting up this semester. I think I just love like, like getting people together, hanging out, eating good food, um, just hanging out. I mean, it's always good to have good friends around, good food. My favorite part about tailgating, I would have to say, is uh, when it gets quiet. Uh, usually that means I've done a good job cooking and it's more important to eat than it is to talk. So, I started cooking at about 7.30 last night. and. Uh, slept about two hours so my family and friends they're all around here we're eating food and uh, just relaxing have a lot of family in this weekend so excited about that you get to throw the football around a little bit relive your glory days in high school kind of if you want to and um, uh, hopefully uh, your contributions on the football out here will help tech on the field so and that's what I love about tech you can come out and enjoy yourself just have camaraderie have a good time have a good bite to eat and just enjoy your time with friends I guarantee you, compared to UT, A&M, any or all of the above, there ain't nothing like this one, man. Tech's got it. After the break, we sit down with Lady Raider basketball's Raven Brooks. This week, we sat down with a new addition to Lady Raider basketball, junior guard Raven Brooks. 54 Tech, 247 to play. Baker, top of the perimeter. Brooks with the basketball, spins in the lane. Turn around, rattles around, and finds its way home. I'm Raven Brooks. I'm from San Ramon, California. I'm a junior guard. I've been pretty much everywhere in California. I've been to San Diego. I was raised in San Diego since I was six. I moved to Vallejo, California. Then I moved to Martinez when I was in high school. And then I moved to San Ramon when I transferred for, to a new high school. So I've been everywhere. I used to play on the playground in elementary school with guys all the time. And then this one girl just came up to me and was like, well, we have a team going. Do you want to be on the team? And this was when I was in second grade, so I was seven. And I was like, yeah. So then after that, I've been playing ever since. I love her coaching style. She's very creative. She can make up a play right there in front. Like, she just knows. She can tell what the other team's going to do, what we need to get into in offense, what we need to get in in defense. She's a really good coach. My IQ in basketball is really good. And I'm creative. I can make plays happen. Emma Battle, Minta Spears, uh, Kelsey Baker. They're always talkative. They work hard every day. Um, they make sure the team is where, what they're supposed to do. Like, like, we should be 15 minutes early before practice. They make sure we're all there. They're just very vocal, very strong. They just, know, they just know the game of basketball. We have great chemistry on the court. We're always there for each other. If anybody needs something, we're there, they got it. We always have each other's back. You'll see more hustle, more aggressiveness, more passion to win. It's, it's a big difference from the team last year. This team, they work hard every day. I feel like the size is different this year. We probably had more bigger, we had a bigger size last year than we do this year. But um, I feel like our post here now is pretty good. And we have more guards better point guard. I mean, the only person that can beat us is ourselves. Get your timer set. This week we're going on the clock with Jenna Allen. Double T Insider here, about to go on the clock with Jenna Allen. A game where I'll give Jenna 10 scenarios that she has to answer in under 60 seconds. All right, Jenna, do you think you can handle this? I'm gonna try my best. All right, 60 seconds on the clock, please. <laughs> Question number one, if I could travel anywhere in the world, I would first travel to? Um, uh, Phuket. If I didn't? play volleyball, I would play um, uh, soccer. If I had any superpower, it would be to um, fly. If I could have dinner with any person living or dead, it would be Jesus. My favorite home cooked meal is chicken surprise. If I could see any musician live, it would be 
Um, Usher. If I won the lottery, the first thing I would buy is? A car. My teammate with the worst singing voice is? Mm, probably me. <laughs> my favorite TV show growing up was? Um, Scooby-Doo. And last question, my go-to selfie pose is? <laughs> All right, congratulations, you beat the clock. Thank you. <laughs> For the Double T Insider, I'm Caitlin Kravick, and we just went on the clock with Jenna Allen. Coming up next, we take a look at the best tweets around Texas Tech athletics. Welcome back to the Double T Insider. I'm Luke Heath. Each week, we pick the best tweets about Texas Tech athletics and air them right here on the show. This week, we're featuring tweets about Lady Raider basketball, Texas Tech football, and Red Raider basketball. Tech softball player Kamori Washington tweeted, Tech softball representing our basketball boys with a fan. Hashtag Rec Loyola. Corey Hatter tweeted, I think we made the best of the last home game of the season. Until next time, hashtag wreck em and hashtag win or lose. Ariel Falcon tweeted, some say Crabtree is their favorite TTU wide receiver. Mine is Bradley Marquez, hands down. Thanks for the memories, man. Hashtag TTU. Lady Raider basketball player Minta Spears tweeted, a suburban full of 15 Lady Raiders want to wish the football team good luck against Oklahoma. Hashtag wreck em. Well, that's all the tweets for this week's episode, but be sure to follow the Double T Insider on Twitter and check back with us next week when your tweet could just be featured on the show. Now let's take a look at Texas Tech's upcoming games. Lady Raider basketball will face the University of Arizona Friday. Tip-off from the United Supermarkets Arena in Lubbock, Texas is at 7 p.m. Central. Red Raider football travels to Ames, Iowa Saturday with a matchup against the Iowa State Cyclones. Texas Tech leads the all-time series at 9-3. Kickoff is at 2.30 p.m. Central with all the action being broadcasted on Fox Sports Net. Saturday, Texas Tech volleyball will play their final regular season game at home as they face Oklahoma. First set from the USA is at 3 p.m. Central. Texas Tech men's basketball returns home as they begin an eight-game homestand Saturday. Tip-off against Missouri State is at 7 p.m. Central. Sunday, Lady Raider basketball concludes their four-game homestand as they face Morgan State. Tip-off from the USA is at 2 p.m. Central. Texas Tech men's basketball will play Northwestern State Tuesday. Tip-off from Lubbock, Texas is at 7 p.m. Central. Red Raider Volleyball will be in Ames, Iowa Wednesday as they conclude their regular season against Iowa State. First set will begin at 6.30 p.m. Central. Stay tuned. The Double T Insider returns right after the break. Double T Insider was brought to you in part by UMC Health System. It's our hospital. Texas Farm Bureau Insurance. Visit redraiderscontest.game to register to win cool fan experiences. Red Raider Club, your support, their effort, our fearless champions. And by Texas Ford Dealers. Visit your Texas Ford dealer today. Ford is the best in Texas. Well, that's a wrap for this week's episode of the Double T Insider. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter to stay up to date with Texas Tech Athletics. For Caitlin Kravick, I'm Brett Brown, and until next time, guns up.